everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently 6.45 a.m. Um, I've got a train to London in three hours because today I'm heading to the Prince's Trust Awards, which is really, really cool. Such an amazing opportunity. I cannot wait. I am so nervous because there's like a red carpet and all of these ridiculous things like interviews and celebrities and royalty. I feel like the next two days kind of encapsulate like what my life is like at the moment, um, just in the sense that I live a bit of a Hannah Montana lifestyle. So today I'm going to the Princess Trust Awards. It's going to be super glamorous. It's going to be red carpets and all of these silly things. And then tomorrow is just a library day. So I'm starting off the day by heading to the gym. Hello there, I'm back from the gym. My arms are killing me. And basically I like to go kind of in the mornings um, when no one else is really there, um, just because it means far less judgment, which is great for me. But anyway, I'm back now. It was a good start to the day. While I was at the gym, actually, I was listening to an audiobook um, for one of my modules. So I do a seminar module in Germanic myth and legend because I am such a nerd for mythology. I'm actually going to Athens in um, a few weeks and I'm so excited I'm going to nerd out the whole time. But anyway, I was listening to the book American Gods because it is one hefty boy. It is 650 pages long um, and to read that in a week is not possible alongside five other modules which also require a lot of work and a lot of reading. So I'm listening to this one in audiobook form um, and it's actually so much more productive because I can just listen to it when I'm at the gym, walking to and from different places. I think you forget how much you can actually get done on a 10 minute walk. However, I um, broke my headphones, so good. That has slightly scuppered my plan for the train because I was planning to listen to that on the train. So we'll come up with something else. It's just gone eight o'clock, so I've got um, just under two hours until my train. So I'm going to get some reading done because I have a Shakespeare module uh, lecture tomorrow. So I'm going to read um, some of A Midsummer Night's Dream. And then I'm going to get myself suited and booted. I don't know what that was. Okay, um, if you are thinking, whoa, that's a large book, then you'd be correct. This is the complete works of Shakespeare. So at the beginning of the year, we get sent um, a reading list. And for the Shakespeare module that I do, the reading list was just the complete works of Shakespeare. So I found this book and I was like, oh, okay, which, which ones do they want me to read? And they were just like, all of them, the complete works of Shakespeare. And so here we are. Um, today I'm trying to read A Midsummer Night's Dream, but it is kind of a spring nightmare, so. Good. Okay, time has passed. I have had a shower and I am just getting dressed. Um, what I'm wearing today is this beautiful little TM Lewin um, suit. It's got, uh, it's like navy and has pinstripes. I got asked so many questions about this when I spoke in Parliament, which yes, I will continue to keep name dropping. And I am pairing that with this little Gucci tie. Although the favorite part of my outfit has to be my cufflinks, which I don't know if you can see that, have dinosaurs on them. So yes, I will see you on the train. Good morning and welcome to passengers joining this delayed service at Durham. Okay, so I'm on the train. Um, I was expected to get to London at 12.30. We're now not getting there till 1.30, so I'm actually going to miss the red carpet, which is so heartbreaking. I don't actually know if I'm going to make it to the awards itself because we're, it's just getting more and more delayed. It's because of this huge... Whoa. It's because of this huge storm, so it's like not the train lines fall at all. I don't blame them. Um, it's just such a shame. Um, I'm gutted, I'm really, really gutted, and I'm just on this train that's going down to London. I'm getting further and further away from home, but I'm gonna miss the awards, I think, so. Um, I don't think there's much more to say other than I'll keep you updated. Potentially, the next time you see me, I will be on a train back to Durham, because I think I'm going to miss the awards, which is such a shame. So, that's the update. Okay, so I've made it to King's Cross. Um, the red carpet and event closes in like, 10 minutes, and I am far more than 10 minutes away <laughs> from the London Palladium, so I'm fast walking. I don't think it's gonna happen, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. Oh well. So the red carpet closes in one minute. I'm on the street that the red carpet is on, on the tube. I tried to tie my shoelaces and I was so anxious and nervous, I pulled my shoelace off the whole thing. Guys, this is the red carpet I am supposed to be on. <laughs> I missed it by about 10 seconds. They closed the, the gate. <laughs> oh no. It is a lovely building though. I'll um, admire from afar. So I'm just standing out here waiting for Prince Charles to warm the crowd up for me. And I've met Julia who watches the videos. How cool. So thank you so much for saying hello. Fellow English Lit student, which I, we're here for that. We're here for that. <laughs> 
There he is. Guided in like a lighthouse, it's a place where you'll be safe to feel our grace. We've all made mistakes if you've lost your way. But I will leave the light on. Well, 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 So I may have missed the red carpet on the way in, but <laughs> the red carpet is, the carpet is still red <laughs> and I'm making the most of it. Look who I blimmin' found, Hello. it's only on Jaded Jade. <laughs> um, yeah, the awards show was incredible, was so amazing. many inspiring people. It was like constantly heartwarming, like all the mm. stories, yeah. Just, just amazing. amazing. So thank you so much to the Princess Trust for inviting us, very, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. And look where we are right now. Right. What's the red carpet? <laughs> yeah, we're just... <laughs> We, look, we both missed the red carpet on our way in. We didn't smash it, but we're here now. We're making the most of it. <laughs> we're having our little Oscars moment, okay? That's all, that's all I had to say. <laughs> Guys, we're not at uni anymore. Cheers, mate! <laughs> so we went to an after party at a place just next to the Palladium, and now we've come to my management's office um, to quickly pick up some stuff. So, um, I don't know if you saw the video, but I worked with Adobe on a really cool uh, vlog a couple of weeks ago, and they've sent me some biscuits. How nice, I've just come to the office to pick them up, but look. So there's a little thank you card in here, and also these, if I can open this, <gasps> look how incredible these are. Live what? reaction. <laughs> They're so cool, are they like edible? Yes! What? How insane, like customized biscuits. Whoa. I wanna just carry these around with me as an accessory. Okay, after more running with trains, I've made it back to King's Cross, and my train leaves in now, I think. I think I've got about one minute to get on, um, and I'm heading back to Durham. Oh hey, I am knackered. Um, today has been such a cool day. Um, I just got the train home and then went straight to um, my college bar in Durham um, because my lovely friend Laura is back visiting from Spain. She's on um, a year abroad so it was so nice to see her and she got me this little postcard which is really nice but there I have a delivery which I never ever thought would come. Holy guacamole, this is my silver play button because I hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Oh my god. I want to say this is a dream come true, but I, I feel like I'm accepting my Oscar, by the way. I feel like it's not even a dream come true because I just never even dared to dream about it. Like, that sounds really stupid and dramatic, but like, this means the absolute world to me because it's something I never ever thought would happen, so... Oh my god. Okay, um... I'm gonna put you there. This feels like a pizza delivery, except like, the most exciting pizza delivery of all time. Oh my god. A black sheet. <gasps> wow. There's a letter from YouTube. Imagine if I dropped it now. That would be very on brand to be fair. Oh. My god. Okay, so for something that's meant to be given to YouTubers, this is very hard to film. <laughs> my silver play button. 100,000 subscribers. What the heck. Here she is in all her glory. This is so mad. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and cuddle this for a little bit. Um, but thanks for watching today, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. So um, I went to the gym a little bit later this morning. It was a struggle to get out of bed, let me tell you. I think I left the house at like seven, quarter past seven. So it's still early, <laughs> but it was, it was definitely more of a struggle than yesterday. It's very windy again today. Um, I'm heading home now. I was gonna go straight to the library. And normally what I like to do is just go to the gym and then go straight to the Students Union or the library on Thursdays because I have lectures starting from 11. However, today I'm just going to go home and do some reading at home because I've got these bulky Shakespeare books and I'd, I'd rather not have to carry them, so that's what I'm going to do. I've made myself a little avo toast and managed to get my camera completely covered in avocado in the process. The Canon logo is now green, but this is my favourite thing, so... 
that's what I had to say. Okay, so I feel like I haven't really explained what's going on today, so um, allow me to do that. Today is a completely average, ordinary day in my life, very different to yesterday. And I kind of wanted to capture that with this video and how different like my days are. Today is a very like academic day. So this morning I am going to do some Shakespeare reading. I'm going to finish a Midsummer Night's Dream. I was planning to do that yesterday, but I think you have to know your own limits. And for me, it would have been more valuable to just sleep last night um, because I was so shattered. I would not have taken it in. So I just left it till this morning to do. See, so yeah, I'm just going to finish that off now. I've got one more act to read, then do some research on Hart Crane and Sylvia Plath because I have a tutorial at 4 p.m. today on those. In the meantime, before that, I have um, a lecture at 11 on Shakespeare and then a lecture at 12 on American poetry. Nope. Those are the other way around. If only one of us knew what was going on. Um, yeah, anyway, so I've got two lectures. Um, I've got about two hours now until those. So I'm going to do my reading and research. Yeah, that's kind of how my day looks. Um, I'm going to do some reading now. Cue study montage, I guess. So I'm gonna head off to my lecture now, but I've got some study snacks, I've got some dried mango and a cacao brownie, whatever the f*** that means. Let's go. But I think there's also a bigger ambivalence to the approach. Um, we've got Penelope. Hello, so I am back from my day of studying. I um, have been out this whole time, so I went to um, my two lectures, then I went to the library in the meantime before my tutorial, which were all pretty good. Um, I think I'm done now. Oh no, I've got one more tutorial next week on Victorian literature, but after that I'm done with tutorials for the term. I have five more lectures next week, and then I'm done with that too. Um, so yeah, a bit of a different day to yesterday. Just an awful lot of work. So basically I'm going to do some more reading now for all of the other stuff that I've got next week. Tonight I'm going to the Durham Union to listen to an address given by Sue Flood, who was a producer and photographer on Blue Planet and Planet Earth with David Attenborough. And then, in true university style, going to a house party. What's wrong, mate? I ate too much cereal. <laughs> I'm a fish finger and now I can't eat my dinner because I feel sick. I want a bowl of mozzarella for no reason <laughs> at all. Stop it! <laughs> You've been assaulted. <laughs> So I will leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the Prince's Trust for inviting me to your incredible and inspiring award show. It was amazing to see these incredible young people being championed. Um, anything that young people do like that, I just think is so cool. Thank you to YouTube for the plaque. Thank you to you guys for watching. Um, this has been my Hannah Montana lifestyle. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, click subscribe. I've been Jack Edwards and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!